Hi, I'm Frodo in Numbers, and this is a small tutorial of how to use the new translation system, other thing LPFN 4.2 and Rancher 0.6. First, why the new system was made? There are two main reasons. The first one is this. Here I have a Shogun 2 vanilla with a couple of unit mods. As you can see, if I hover the mouse over a modded unit, the game breaks. This is because there is a bug in all Total War games from Empire to Thrones, it was fixed in Warhammer, that makes it so mods work properly only in English, but in any other language the text won't load, unless you patch them into the main localization file. This is what the UPC project or Unit Pack Compatibility project has been doing. Uh, the problem with that is that overhauls that change vanilla text cannot be added. Ne they need a specific versions of the UPC and new mods may take a while to be added to the UPC or maybe they are updated but that update takes a while to be added to the UPC. It's a very rigid system. The second one is because uh, sometimes models do mod translations. For example, uh, they may be they may do a translation for a Warhammer unit mod, which doesn't have this book. They may translate a line the mod updates, the original value of the line changes, for example, uh, this effect affects provinces, the mod updates, and the new value is this effect affects regions. The translation was made for the previous version of the mod, and while it still works, it has incorrect uh, translations in it. Uh, the new system fixes both. Now, how does it work? First, we need to close the game. Here are Rancher and Therapy FN for those who don't know them. Now, we are going to translate one of the unit mods that I was using. Uh, Roots of Japan is a unit mod I am Haldier made back in the day. Now we go we open the pack, we go to tools, translator, and here are the lines that we need to translate. Uh, the the program automatically filters any line that doesn't need a translation, either because it's already translated, because we are updating a translation and that line already has a valid value, or because that line was removed from the mode, so we don't need to translate it anymore. And how it works is simple. We select the line, here is the original value, it's on here, and here we write the translated value. Then we select another line, and that value is translated. Now, we already have a translation for this mod, because I translated it back in the day for the Spanish version of the UPC in Shogun 2. So we can hit this. And where do I have it? This data? Yeah, I, here. Uh, we import the UPC, and as you can see, a lot of values have disappeared because they are translated and filtered out. Now, the ones we have left are values which don't change. This is a name which 
in Spanish is the same as in English same same this is a Japanese uh, name and same here so for this we can either leave them as is or we can hit this copy from source to remove them from the list now that we have emptied the list we just hit accept and that's all uh, the translator generates a log file in the pack in case we want to use it but we are not going to use it we can just ignore it now back to rancher the way the translations are made in rpfm is that it stores the translation in a json file on disk a json file that is readable by rancher so in rancher we just need to go to the launch options in this little arrow enable translations select our language and hit play okay we go to battle and long jari samurai now it has text these are units from the additional units mod that's why they are in english because we haven't translated but rancher has fix the translation issues and the units from the roots of japan mod are fixed too and are translated for example the skysoku con espadas now have this now how does it work when you select a language in rancher it will analyze your load order to see what mods you have, then it will download this git repo that I have here. It will, it will download this, then combine the translations from this repo with the ones you have locally in your disk. Uh, the ones in your disk always have preference. And do some magic and make like a UPC for your specific load order and if a mod is translatable because it's either on your translation files or in this repo it will auto apply that translation to the UPC so you don't have to worry about uh, changing, uh, changing the game in English to play with an overhaul or, or having to download X or Y versions of, of a new PC you just need to select the, your language in, in Runcher and that's all and for modders who want to make translations uh, this repo is already public if you make a translation you just need to go here open rpfms config folder then find translation local and here are the translations that you need to submit to this repo so anyone using rancher can automatically use them for example, a translation file is this. And that's all. Took me a while to make this magic, but it works.